I'm, I'm, I was surprised I was here 10 years later. I mean, it's in, the, in, the, in the old days with Olympia, um, the, the show has changed drastically. You know, you'd have Travel Weekly, Travel to Trade Gazette as the main players, always wonderful hospitality going on. And it wasn't really an appointment driven show in, in my day then. You, you, it, it was great for networking. But in, in the years since, it's changed drastically. And, and what, where I always say ITB was the appointment driven show, world travel market is, is kind of taking over now as the, as the new appointment driven show. I mean, the last three years, um, where I've been working with Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, Philadelphia primarily at this show, um, we've been absolutely solid. Um, the, I guess the downside of that is that you don't necessarily pick up the walkthrough traffic, that you, you've got your head down with doing appointments, but the clients are going back and they're all looking for return on investment now, which whether that wasn't the case 15, 20 years or 32 years ago, I, I, I don't know. But um, this, you know, and surely in a tougher market, the, the focus on business. Will be oh, good. absolutely, absolutely. They, you know, they want to return on the dollar. It, I mean, it's, we all know it's not cheap to attend these things. It's not just the the booth space. It's the the hotel accommodation. You know, food and beverage entertainment that's attached to it. Um, so, you know, you've got to look at every, every every possible thing now to get a return on your buck. This is a great exhibition centre. I mean, Earl's Court was a little dated. I, I suppose the good thing about Earl's Court, with a, with a, and I'm, I'm speaking purely for the, for the Americans coming into town, they do like to be in the West End. Um, I mean, the last two days I've been coming out here for breakfast at eight o'clock and it's, it's a doddle. You know, you can get out here in 30, 35 minutes we all know the issues, but I don't think that's just world travel market. I think it's probably any exhibition that's out here. Um, and I think more and more people, as the hotels go up, will probably stay out here. I, I know certainly as I'm getting older, I'm actually thinking about, should I stay next door next year rather than sort of... Sure, sure, I can, I can recommend it. And world travel market, I mean, obviously moving aside from, as you said, the fact that we're still the leading business event in the travel world, on a personal note, what is it you like the most? Is it the people, the stands? Oh, it's definitely the people, definitely the people. Um, I mean, over the years, what, what I find great and what I get a buzz out of, what, what, one thing, I do like people, but whether it's from getting on the tube in the West End, there's, there's normally, normally somebody I know or bump into. Uh, sometimes the downside is when you walk in through the halls and you've got an appointment, you can't get there because you keep bumping into people that you know. So um, it's probably one of the best networking events that, you know, in my career, certainly. Um, I, I thought I'd probably end up having a plaque somewhere, that, you know. That well, that might yeah, happen. Anyway, you've been a 32-year regular. We Absolutely. We'll be 33, 34 soon enough. Um, so thank you very much. Thanks very much, Ed. Thank you.